How are you? And uh, feel welcome that uh, today the lesson at our hand is a quadratic formula and I'll be looking at the derivation part of it. Have you ever wondered where this quadratic formula comes from? Uh, the simple answer to it is that completing square approach can actually result to quadratic uh, formula. And in other words, quadratic formula is just a special case of the completing square method approach. And therefore, I'm taking two steps to show you on a short video on how to come up with that quadratic formula. First of all, notice that uh, anytime the format of a quadratic equation is this one labeled here, ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. Notice that a should not be zero. Reason is if a is zero, then the equation reduces to a linear equation. Now, we can apply quadratic uh, our completing square method to come up with this quadratic uh, formula in a simple two steps. First of all, make this uh, coefficient of a to be 1 from this equation by dividing across by a. And by so doing, you are getting x squared plus b over ax plus c over a equals to 0. Then secondly, take the constant c over a to the other right hand side to have x squared plus b over ax equals to negative c over a. Notice the left hand side is lacking part c. Part c is lacking here. And to get that part c, we are applying this formula that uh, c equals to b over 2 uh, squared. By so doing, we can introduce that part c here, noticing that our b is b over a. Then we divide by 2 to get this part c. Then we square. Now, because you are adding that part C to the left, also add it to the right. And then simplify this part of the right-hand side by expanding this one and then putting them together. And we end up with uh, B squared minus 4AC over 4A squared. Now, once we are at that point, then X squared, we can actually factorize the left-hand side of this one where now we get it as x plus b over 2a, then squared. We only take what is under square, and then we merge together, we retain the square. By so doing that one, we get uh, that this one is equals to what we expanded on the right-hand side. Then we take the square root on both sides, and by doing that, we get that uh, x plus b over 2a is equals to plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. 2a in that the square root of 4 is 2 and the square root of a squared is a. Then we take uh, b over 2a to the right hand side and this therefore leaves us with x equals to negative b over 2a then plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now we can merge this one together by looking at the LCM of these two and therefore this results to uh, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now this one that you are coming up with here is now the quadratic uh, formula. Realize that a is the coefficient of a squared, b is the coefficient of x and c is the remaining constant. On the left hand side I've given some nb that whatever that is under the square root is called the discriminant. Discriminant tell us or give us more information on the type of the uh, roots that we expect. If the discriminant is greater than zero then we have two distinct different or distinct or different roots and if the discriminant is zero then we have repeated root or same roots. And therefore, the last one, if the discriminant is less than zero, then we have what we call the complex roots. The complex roots, sometimes we say it has no solution, but it has what we call the complex roots. So I believe uh, that short video has enabled you to understand where this quadratic formula originates. Now, in the forthcoming videos, I'm going also to provide some examples on how to work out quadratic equation using this uh, quadratic formula. Follow me for more videos and thank you for your time. May God bless you.